Welcome to another episode of Our Place Artifacts, where we explore five intriguing artifacts that challenge our understanding of history. These Our Place Artifacts are objects that do not fit within the accepted chronological or geographical context, making them a source of interest for scientists and enthusiasts alike. They force us to question what we thought we knew about the past and to consider the possibility that our ancestors were capable of much more than we previously believed. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to view our other episodes after the video in the descriptions below. The Laladov Plate The Laladov Plate is a mysterious artifact discovered in Nepal in 1938 by a man named William Laladov. The plate is composed of a metal alloy and is around 7 inches in diameter. It's an odd sculpture of a humanoid figure with a huge head and almond-shaped eyes that is meticulously covered with what seems to be Sanskrit writing. The Laladov plate has sparked much conjecture and controversy among researchers and collectors alike, as its origins and purpose are unclear. Some speculate that the plate was made by an ancient civilization with extraordinary technology and an intimate understanding of the cosmos, while others speculate that it was produced by extraterrestrials. The humanoid figure portrayed on the Laladas plate's surface is one of its most interesting features. The image has been related to depictions of old astronaut hypotheses, and others believe that it could represent an alien entity. Some believe the artwork depicts a human with a genetic defect, such as hydrocephaly, which can result in an enlarged head and unusual facial characteristics. The Sanskrit writings on the plate have also been extensively studied and interpreted. Some researchers believe the inscriptions are a type of Vedic scripture, where others say it may have been a form of early Buddhist writing. Nonetheless, the writings are still not completely read, adding to the plate's mystique. Several questions remain unsolved despite repeated attempts to understand the origins and function of the Laladov plate. Others have even speculated that the plate is a fake or a recent counterfeit. However, this has yet to be established. Regardless of its exact origin, the plate is an interesting item that keeps attracting those who examine it. The Dolmens of Russia The Dolmens of Russia are megalithic structures found throughout Russia that has dated back to the Bronze Age. They consist of large stone slabs that are arranged in a particular way to form a chamber or tunnel-like structure. The dolmens were first discovered in the early 19th century, but it wasn't until the 20th century that they began to receive serious attention from researchers. Despite this increased interest, the dolmens remain shrouded in mystery and continues to baffle archaeologists and historians. The dolmens are typically made of large, flat stones that are arranged in a rectangular or trapezoidal shape. The stones are placed upright and are supported by a smaller stone, which acts as a sort of foot or base. Some of the dolmens are more complex, consisting of multiple chambers and tunnels. What makes the dolmens so intriguing is their construction. The stones used to build them weigh several tons each, yet they were transported and arranged with incredible precision. It's unclear how the builders of the dolmens were able to move these massive stones without the use of modern technology. In addition to their construction, the dolmens also contain several mysterious carvings and symbols. Some of these symbols resemble animals, while others appear to be abstract designs. The meaning of these symbols is not known, but they may have had religious or spiritual significance for the people who built the dolmens. The dolmens are found throughout Russia, but the most well-known sites are located in the Caucasus region. Here, the dolmens are often found in clusters, with dozens or even hundreds of structures located in a single area. Some of the clusters are located on hilltops, while others are located near rivers or other natural features. Despite the dolmens' mysterious origins, some researchers have proposed theories about their purpose. Some believe that the dolmens were used as tombs, while others think that they may have had a religious or astronomical significance. There is also some evidence to suggest that the dolmens were used for astronomical observations, 
as some of them are aligned with the rising or setting suns at specific times of the year. What do you think was the purpose of these dolmens, and why do you think they were built with such precision? Roman Dodecahedrons The Roman Dodecahedrons, a tiny, hollow bronze item, has long been the source of fascination among the community of Valplace artifact enthusiasts. Some are crafted from bronze, while others are constructed of stone. The dodecahedrons has 12 flat faces in a geometric form. Each face is a pentagon, which consists of five sides. More than 100 of these items, adorned with a series of knobs on each corner point of the pentagon, have been discovered throughout Roman Empire locations. The pentagon faces are punctured by round holes. They were initially discovered around 200 years ago. The mystery and ambiguity surrounding these objects has yet to be resolved. The majority of the Roman dodecahedrons were discovered in Germany and France. They vary in size from 1.6 to 4.3 inches, but also in texture. Most of them, as previously noted, are made of bronze, but others are also constructed of stone. The dodecahedrons are thought to be from the 2nd or 3rd century. However, there is currently no documentation or logical explanation for them. The purpose is also yet to be determined. Yet, there are several ideas and hypotheses. Each of them has been proposed over the years. According to popular belief, the dodecahedrons was utilized as a measuring instrument. To be more specific, an instrument used to measure combat range. This device, according to a hypothesis, was used to determine the trajectory of projectiles on the battlefield. This may explain why the pentagons have varying size holes in them. According to one explanation, they were employed as surveying or leveling instruments. However, the issue is that none of these theories have been proven. Another interesting suggestion is that the dodecahedron was an astronomical measuring apparatus used to determine the best time to plant grain for the winter. The gadget can measure the angle of the sun, allowing one exact day in spring and one date in fall to be established with precision. According to the hypothesis, this could be the reason why the dodecahedrons varied in size and configuration depending on the location of those using it for that purpose. One commonly held and highly accepted opinion is that the item was a religious artifact. This is due to the fact that the majority of the instances were discovered at Gallo-Roman ruins. One such artifact, for instance, was discovered in a woman's burial cemetery. There are other ideas that they were employed as candlestick holders because of the presence of wax in several of the artifacts. Whichever hypothesis you cling to, one thing is clear. Owners regarded them as prized possessions. This is supported by the fact that they were discovered in coin hoards. The discovery of gold knobs and holes on even tiny dodecahedrons lends credence to the idea that they were expensive artifacts. The Lonzo Stone The Lonzo Stone is an extraordinary artifact discovered in China in 2002. The item, a small rock, that seems to contain a fragment of metal lodged inside it is estimated to be 300 million years old. The artifact has prompted significant curiosity among archaeologists and fans, as its origin and function remains unclear. A local geologist who has studied the land around Lanzhou in northwest China discovered the Lanzhou stone. The geologist spotted the small rock with the metal shard lodged within it after seeing an odd rock structure. The metal fragment seems to be comprised of an alloy of iron, nickel, and other components and resembles a modern-day screw. The Lonzo Stone's discovery has sparked significant debate and conjecture among specialists, with some speculating that the relic may be proof of ancient alien visitation. Some have speculated that the device was created by a sophisticated human culture millions of years ago. The majority of specialists, however, feel that the object is a natural formation and that the metal piece is the consequence of a geological process. The metal shard itself is among the most interesting parts of the Lonzo stone. Because of the shape and content of the metal, some suggest that it may be a screw or some sort of mechanical component. Some, on the other hand, 
believe that the middle piece is thus a consequence of natural geological processes, and that its form and composition are coincidence. Regardless of the debate surrounding the Lonzo Stone, it is an important artifact that has piqued the curiosity of both experts and fans. This discovery sparked more investigation of the region surrounding Lonzo, resulting in the discovery of other odd rock formations and geological anomalies. Tunguska Spears The Tunguska event of 1908 is one of modern history's most perplexing and interesting natural disasters. An enormous explosion happened over the Siberian forest, unleashing energy comparable to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT and flattening trees over a 2,000 square kilometer region. About a century has passed since the explosion, and speculations about what caused it have ranged from a meteoric strike to a black hole passing through the Earth. One of the most fascinating parts of the Tunguska incident, however, has been the finding of tiny metallic spheres at the site, known as Tunguska spheres, which have been proposed as probable out-of-place artifacts. They have been found in the soil and tree stumps around the epicenter of the Tunguska blast. The diameter of the Tunguska spheres varies from a few millimeters to several centimeters, and they are constructed of a metallic alloy that comprises a number of different elements such as iron, nickel, and cobalt. The sphere's distinct composition and capacity to withstand corrosion, despite having been exposed to the elements for more than a century, sets them different from other metallic items discovered in the region. Magnetization is another remarkable attribute of the Tungusa spheres. The spheres' strong magnetic properties imply that they could have a significant amount of iron within. They do, however, generate a magnetic field that is inconsistent with anything that happens naturally on Earth. The sphere's characteristics do not appear to be consistent with anything known to exist in nature, leading some scholars to hypothesize that they may represent the remains of a long-gone technological society. There are several ideas concerning the origin and use of the Tungusa spheres, which have been the focus of much research and investigation since their discovery. The spheres, according to some scholars, may be an example of alien technology that is utilized for communication or navigation. Some say the spheres are a type of technological weapon left behind from a long lost civilization. Some experts think the spheres originated during the explosion, when molten metal was blasted from the earth and cooled in mid-air, producing little spheres. The spheres don't exhibit any oxidation as one might expect if they have been exposed to air, which casts doubt on this theory. Each artifact challenges our understanding of history and leaves us wondering what else could be out there waiting to be discovered. We hope that by exploring these artifacts, we have sparked your curiosity and encourage you to continue learning about the fascinating mysteries surrounding us. Until then, keep an open mind and who knows what secrets we might uncover as we discover more out-of-place artifacts in future episodes. Thanks for watching our Late Night Top 5 channel. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.